And do not think in your spirit, nor say in your heart, that you do not know, and that you do not see that every sin is every day recorded in heaven, in the presence of the Most High. From henceforth ye know that all your oppression wherewith ye oppress is written down every day till the day of your judgment. Woe to you, ye fools, for through your folly shall you perish, and ye transgress against the wise, and so good hap shall not be your portion. And now know that you are prepared for the day of destruction, wherefore do not hope to live, ye sinners, but ye shall depart and die, for ye know no ransom. For ye are prepared for the day of great judgment, for the day of tribulation, and great shame for your spirits. Woe to you, ye obstinate of heart, who work wickedness and eat blood. Whence have ye good things to eat and drink and to be filled? From all the good things which the Lord the Most High has placed in abundance on the earth, therefore ye shall have no peace. Woe unto you who love the deeds of unrighteousness! Wherefore do you hope for good hap unto yourselves? Know that ye shall be delivered into the hands of the righteous, and they shall cut off your necks and slay you, and have no mercy upon you. Woe to you who rejoice in the tribulation of the righteous, for no grave shall be dug for you. Woe to you who set at naught the words of the righteous, for ye shall have no hope of life. Woe to you who write down lying and godless words, for they write down their lies that men may hear them and act godlessly toward their neighbor. Therefore they shall have no peace, but die a sudden death. Woe to you who work godlessness and glory and lying and extol them. Ye shall perish, and no happy life shall be yours. Woe to them who pervert the words of uprightness, and transgress the eternal law, and transform themselves into what they were not, into sinners. They shall be trodden under foot upon the earth. In those days make ready, ye righteous, to raise your prayers as a memorial, and place them as a testimony before the angels, that they may place the sin of the sinners for a memorial before the Most High. In those days the nation shall be stirred up, and the families of the nation shall arise on the day of destruction. And in those days the destitute shall go forth and carry off their children, and they shall abandon them, so that their children shall perish through them. Yea, they shall abandon their children that are still sucklings, and not return to them, and shall have no pity on their beloved ones. And again I swear to you, ye sinners, that sin is prepared for a day of unceasing bloodshed. And they who worship stones and graven images of gold and of silver and wood and stone and clay, and those who worship impure spirits and demons, and all kinds of idols not according to knowledge, shall get no manner of help from them. And they shall become godless by reason of the folly of their hearts, and their eyes shall be blinded through the fear of their hearts, and through visions in their dreams. Through these they shall become godless and fearful, for they shall have wrought all their work in a lie, and shall have worshipped a stone. Therefore in an instant shall they perish. But in those days, blessed are all they who accept the words of wisdom, and understand them, and observe the paths of the Most High, and walk in the path of His righteousness, and become not godless with the godless, for they shall be saved. Woe to you who spread evil to your neighbors, for you shall be slain in Sheol. Woe to you who make deceitful and false measures, and to them who cause bitterness on the earth, for they shall thereby be utterly consumed. Woe to you who build your houses through the grievous toil of others, and all their building materials are the bricks and stones of sin. I tell you, ye shall have no peace. Woe to them who reject the measure and eternal heritage of their fathers, and whose souls follow after idols, for they shall have no rest. Woe to them who work unrighteousness and help oppression, and slay their neighbors until the day of the great judgment. For he shall cast down your glory, and bring affliction on your hearts, and shall arouse his fierce indignation, and shall destroy all of you with the sword, and all the holy and righteous shall remember your sins. And in those days, in one place, the fathers, together with their son, shall be smitten, and brothers, one with another, shall fall in death, till the streams flow with their blood. For a man shall not withhold his hand from slaying his sons and his son's sons, and the sinner shall not withhold his hand from his honored brother. 
From dawn till sunset they shall slay one another, and the horse shall walk up to the breast in the blood of sinners, and the chariot shall be submerged to its height. In those days the angel shall descend into the secret places, and gather together into one place all those who brought down sin. And the Most High will arise on that day of judgment, to execute great judgment amongst sinners. And over all the righteous and holy he will appoint guardians from amongst the holy angels, to guard them as an apple of an eye, until he makes an end of all wickedness and all sin. And though the righteous sleep a long sleep, they have not to fear. And then the children of the earth shall see the wise in security, and shall understand all the words of this book, and recognize that their riches shall not be able to save them in the overthrow of their sins. Woe to you sinners on the day of strong anguish, ye who afflict the righteous and burn them with fire, ye shall be requited according to your works. Woe to you, ye obstinate of heart, who watch in order to devise wickedness. Therefore shall fear come upon you, and there shall be none to help you. Woe to you, ye sinners, on account of the words of your mouth, and on account of the deeds of your hands which your godlessness has wrought. In blazing flames burning worse than fire shall you burn. And now know ye that from the angels he will inquire as to your deeds in heaven, from the sun and from the moon and from the stars, in reference to your sins, because upon the earth ye execute judgment on the righteous. And he will summon to testify against you every cloud and mist and dew and rain, for they shall all be withheld because of you from descending upon you, and they shall be mindful of your sins. And now, give presents to the rain, that it may not be withheld from descending upon you, nor yet the dew, when it has received gold and silver from you, that it may descend. When the hoarfrost and the snow, with their chilliness, and all the snowstorms, with all their plagues, fall upon you, in those days you shall not be able to stand before them. Observe the heavens, ye children of heaven, and every work of the Most High, and fear ye him, and work no evil in his presence. If he closes the windows of heaven, and withholds the rain and the dew from descending on the earth on your account, what will you do then? And if he sends his anger upon you because of your deeds, ye cannot petition him, for ye spake proud and insolent words against his righteousness, therefore ye shall have no peace." And see ye not the sailors of the ships, how their ships are tossed to and fro by the waves, and are shaken by the winds, and are in sore trouble? And therefore do they fear, because all their goodly possessions go upon the sea with them, and they have evil forebodings of heart, that the sea will swallow them, and they will perish therein. Are not the entire sea and all its waters, and all its movements, the work of the Most High? And has he not set limits to its doings, and confined it throughout by the sand? And at his reproof it is afraid, and dries up, and all of its fish die, and all that is in it. But ye sinners that are on the earth, fear him not. Has he not made the heaven and the earth, and all that is therein? Who has given understanding and wisdom to everything that moves on the earth and in the sea? Do not the sailors of the ship fear the sea? Yet sinners do not fear the sea.